It is way too early right now. 9.16 in the morning. Let's do this. Ooh, wet and rainy day today, but that's just the way it is in the day in a life of Tom. Well, that's whoops. I didn't quite think about the weather, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My man boobs aren't gonna remove themselves. So let's get down to the gym. Oh, this is gonna be interesting today. But let's do this. Ready? <laughs> a surprise guest in the morning. What are you doing here then? Since when did you decide to get her a bit? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Oh, feel alright. Very nice. I don't want to say this because I don't feel like I push myself because I do, but I feel the best that I've ever felt at the end of a session. That's because you never finished it. I know, yeah, <laughs> true. But we were supposed to do like something where I'm like on the floor and can't breathe, but because I can't breathe, it's probably not a good idea to do that. Right, you saucy boy. I want those boobies nice and big. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> good luck, I'm giving Charlotte to you now. Oh, no way, I wanna go back inside. It is absolutely miserable, but oh, I tell you what, whilst we're in this area, we can drive around the corner and look at the state of the factory that was on fire last night. Oh my lord, this is just unreal. Honestly, I can't believe this is just happening in my local village. It was just unreal. I've never seen anything like that in my local area, ever. So we'll bob around there now and take a look. Okay, I guess we won't be going having a look at it. There's no way they're still putting it out. What? Oh, the crime scene investigation people are here. No way. Oh, wow, I weren't expecting that. Fortunately, there's nowhere to get close to the rest of the factory because the police have got it all blocked up, so. We're here now on scene with a live report from Ken Cassell, who was at the scene of the crime. As you can see, the building is in absolute disarray. Chaos has been caused, and who knows how it started. Well, home sweet home. Because I'm on baby duty, and Lydia's gone getting a hair done. Hello, my boy. My little dude, hello there. Hello. Look how happy you are to see me. Am I your best friend? Yes. So you're gonna go and have a pamper? Daddy's got all the milk in the world, let me showcase it. Dun, 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 dun. We got milk. My boy's gonna feast while she's away, and it is gonna be a father son getting stuff done day. Now I've changed your nappy, lad, which means we don't need to be up here. So let's get out of Mum's lovely cream and green lounge and let's go down into the depths of Dad's done up basement. Oh, much better. Oh. This is the way. Little dude on my lap. Butt cheeks getting massaged. Isn't this the best life, you little looking elf? The chair was lovely. But a certain someone sicked all over himself. Should have seen that one coming. Why did I not put a bib on yet? Or bring a cloth down to clean it up? I don't know, but we are now enjoying the fruits of our labour and kicking back on the sofa and just relaxing. <laughs> Look at him staring at you lot. He's like, why is there so many people watching us, Daddy? Lad, I don't know. Man of a little dude's chill session has been interrupted because someone's knocking at my door. Who on earth is it? Hello? Oh! oh. It's my mama. He's that loggy. And who's this? It's Grandma! Grandma, Grandma, Grandma! Why are you wearing Under Armour, not Syndicate Original? Oh, because it's not a work day. Oh, unbelievable. Would you like to take the child? He yeah. is the baby. No, yeah. I don't feel bad at all. It's just like a head yeah. cold. You happy because you're with grandma now? <laughs> Month while being here makes my life way easier because now I can make my protein shake. And more importantly, a brew for my mum. Uh, Dusty. And now we water the plants. Shake, shake, shake. Mm. Shake, shake, shake. Mm. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. And now for the final touch, we microwave it. So it is lovely and warm. Some people judge me for doing that. I think it's a bit weird, but I kind of like it. Oh, here you go, mum. There's your blue lass. Enjoy. Oh, oh. that smells good. And the survey says, mm. Oh, that's good. 
Right, Grandma, enjoy babysitting, because someone's at the door. And who are we expecting today? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the baby crush is open for duty, I guess. Come on in the house. Come, 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 come in. Then. Wait, what the heck is going on? What are you doing here? Oh, very nice. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, where'd you, where, where, where'd you get that from? Uh, my missus there, she <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Explosion! <laughs> oh dear. Look at that bottom lip. Oh. He's about to royally kick off. Please tell me you brought monster trucks. Are you kidding me? I bought him about 19,000 monster trucks and you brought none. <laughs> but let's get it on. I'm actually seriously in shock that you've not dropped him off here with any monster trucks. Yeah, time. Yeah, time. By the way, you're wondering why I sound ill? I've probably got it from him. I've got a stay of him. What's going on here? What? You've got him. I'll take him. Oh, okay. We're doing here, we're just juggling children. This is ridiculous. Can we imagine the fact that I said I want four kids? This would be absolutely freaking chaos. Lydia's gonna be like, how's it going? And I'll be like, it's great, it's a, it's a crash. Goodbye, I'll be sure to send you the bill for the babysitting and for the car park charge at the back of the house. Hello, my child. The art of bait and switch. You didn't even realize mum and dad had left. <laughs> what is going on? Where, where did you get that broom from? I don't even know. He's been here two minutes and the house is in, in uproar. We can share the time and attention. It's fine. He just picked it up from there. Mate, what is going on? Is this everything you ever dreamed of of being a grandma? <laughs> We've both got a baby each. Are you even a baby anymore? You're like a toddler, aren't you? It's crazy. And my mother has not yet seen down below. So we're gonna go and show her. Wow, room number one, looking nice and tidy. Wow. Office area, tidied, spruced. It's a bit difficult what we're gonna do with like the clothes and stuff. But welcome to the basement. Oh, wow. <laughs> what do you think? How nice was this? I don't know how this is a thing, but my mum didn't know that. In the middle of that bar, we actually used to have a beer pump like you have in a pub. And we had like three beers that you could have on tap, but we got rid of it because honestly, we just couldn't drink that much alcohol. Oh, you like it that much, do you? That like you're going straight into the chair. <laughs> right, you enjoy massage. I'll watch the child, the child and the dog. Hello. Do you want to play with those toys? Whoa, look. Oh, now we spotted him. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine being a kid and seeing all these toys. I know to like teenagers and adults, these are actually like for display purposes only, but for a child. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got the Ghostbuster truck out. Great shout. So it's safe to say I get mum's seal of approval for the basement. Yeah, it's very homely. Yes. Where have you got another broom from? <laughs> I'm not paying you. Tom's revolving door is going to continue. Because next up on the guest list is Nino. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Why were you striking? I just couldn't let you play around in here. Welcome, I'm giving everyone the tour of the tidy basement. May I present to you the ultimate man cave. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, very nice, yes? Very nice. This is where we're going to need to juggle some children. Come Not on. literally. But we need a collective vote as to where the artwork goes on the walls. I think the Manchester one, one behind you, goes there, because it's actually a very fitting spot for it. And then this one goes up on the wall behind you. Thoughts? Yeah, I reckon that should just go bang in the centre of that wall. That's perfect. That looks so good going there, without a doubt. That's made made for being there. Yeah, that's a good place. Right? That's a good, that's where that's going. This one, I'm thinking of just putting that up in the middle of the wall. Yeah, it's not big, but I reckon if we like, we put it over to the left, like central, I think it'd be nice. I think it does get lost in the in the wall a bit because there's so much space, but I think that'll look good a bit lower into the left. Yeah, that looks good. Welcome to a, a second opinion. Yeah. Either that goes there, which works. It does work. That does work. You can actually have it yeah, that, that actually works there. Right, now time to see what the Manchester one looks on that. And the survey says, should this go in the middle of the sofa? Dun 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 dun. dun. Nah, I, look, I think it looks a bit too odd, that. I think it looks a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I've actually got so much art in here, you know. Look, all this here, look. Is that the same frame as the other one? That's similar. The same one as the wide one. Is it? it? I think so. It looks similar. That's uh, Empire State Building, I think. Oh. Oh, that could go there. That's the right ah. Yeah, that looks good there, doesn't it? Yes! You, you need a thinner wall because it's 
Yep, yep, that's perfect. I'm actually getting the organized room organized because even though like it's for storage and stuff, we're gonna move paintings out there, which is gonna give us more space. Oh, so smart. Nino, I didn't even notice. No, no, it's gone. He's absolutely asleep. I had no idea walking around with him that entire time. All you could see was the top of his head. He's completely fast asleep. <laughs> It's manly man time. I'm gonna need a hammer. I'm going to need a level. And I don't think I need anything else. Oh, Nino, you're the gift that keeps on giving. What are you saying? Take your, uh, the plaques. plaques so smart. Yeah, because I know for a fact Lydia doesn't want these in this room. How have you got another broom? <laughs> so where the, where the dog painting goes, one either side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Whatever you do, do not break this. With great power comes great responsibility. So heavy. Oh, I don't even want to... Really? Ooh, no going back now. Oh, wow. Some heavy duty buggers. Really, really heavy. I'll go and get my drum. Oh, it could possibly go wrong. There's no going back now. Oh, there is. We could just put it back in, but... Oh, dear. Right, should we reduce that? Ow. Nearly just threaded that straight away. I'm just threading it. Gonna have to try and save the day here. It looks salvageable, but I'm gonna do this manually to get it out. Oh gosh, damn that is in there tight. Well, we found the right setting to get them out without wrecking them. But the size of the screws, look at them, wow. I don't think it's worth even trying to attempt to draw those in the wall in the state they're in, so I'm gonna go pick up some new ones of them. I recognize those from being cute because they are heavy duty ones and I almost got two of them. But that's waiting because, show me the baby. Show me the baby. Oh, Is are you ready? No, he's got loads more. I just need to defrost it. This is just available and ready now. <laughs> Grandma and Nono. Oh, oh you have you a nice time? Wait, what? Brush harder. Wait, what? Brush harder. Wait, what? <laughs> Work more, child. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Work more. What? He's never know what's going to happen next in this house. I'm going to need a bowl. I'm going to need some hot vasa. And I'm going to need some. What are you doing? <laughs> Milk. This is not for you, lad. So beg it off. <laughs> Where are you going? Better choice to get in the fridge. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. If you could open that, I'll give you 20 quid. Go on. <laughs> Didn't think so. No, if I'm right in saying so, I just put that in there and it should defrost. Or so I think. I feel so funny just got here. <laughs> is someone going for a nap? Because I think they need one. As you say, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> see you, Mr. Serious. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Mum. Goodbye now. Goodbye, gang. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Love you too. Bye-bye now. <sighs> All right, we're going to chill out for a bit and watch a bit of outdoor, boys. Got you a bit more food getting ready as we speak, and um, I have to say, I'm, I'm also hungry. If you're having reheated milk, I'm going to have reheated pasta from yesterday. Because that was delicious. Don't mind if I do. This smells so good. It's all right to be jealous, mate, because this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, 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 your hair looks lovely. Thank you. Thank you. The baby boy's here. He's happy. What is all that? Oh, God. Oh. It's so good. Oh, my God. He was, he was so happy and then he was so sad. Where did you get them from? Um... So, as I was driving out, yeah. the post was arriving, yeah. and obviously they can never deliver Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah! Oh my gosh. And it was Phil. Yeah, oh yeah. And he ran it to me, and I was like, who are these from? Dear Alfie, I hope these letters take you on an adventure for learning laughter. Lots of love from Trevor and Chelsea. Oh, God. how can you be sad now? <laughs> oh, I know I spoke about it yesterday. One of my friends, friends' dads wasn't well. Unfortunately, I um, ended up losing the bowel cancer. It's just bullshit. You don't appreciate how lucky you are in life. Fuck's oh. I feel like so unbelievably weird right now. I don't know, it might sound really strange, but it's just like, I've been through the stage where I found out my dad had cancer. And the fact that he managed to beat it, it just seems like that's the thing you do. Do you know what I mean? If you get it, you beat it. And that's that, like, medicine is so amazing. But it's just like, the harsh reality of it is, is you don't understand how lucky you are to be able to do something like that. And 
it's just a roll of the dice. Like, it's unreal. <laughs> I'm sorry to get, just be weird about it, but like, I feel like I'm just having a bit of a fucking, like, eyes open of how lucky and fortunate I am to, like, have my dad in my life. <sighs> it's just, I, I just can't stop saying how, like, unfair it is. And I think, like, with me getting upset about things and, like, an emotional roller coaster, because I get upset and then I just get angry because I just hate the fact that I know so many people in my life that just, they just take this shit for granted. They just take it for granted. They just fucking moan and complain and waste their fucking time and woe is fucking me. And they don't even know the fucking barn. I fucking hate it. <sighs> Ring your loved ones, bring your friends and tell me you love them. Because you never know when it's me the last time you speak to them. I love you little dude. We've got to get on with this day. We've got shit to do. And like my dad says, you just got to keep on pedaling. Just got to keep on going. You get knocked down, but you get up again. It is absolutely torrential rain out here right now. My mum's requested that I go and drop off this bottle that she left that belongs to Arlo at her house. So I'm going to go and do that. And uh, I'm going to go to B&Q and get some more of those... Uh, gigantic screws uh, to secure into the wall because my dad, my da I tried to ring my dad as soon as I like found out this news, I tried to ring my dad just to tell him I love him and the little shit didn't answer the phone so I tried ringing him but he's supposed to be coming up to the house because uh, if you remember I think I've got a bit of a leak in the roof uh, to the hallway and my dad was going to come and suss out the situation and work out where it's coming in from but he's not answered his phone and I can't get through to him so we'll wait and see if he gets back to us and he's coming round until then we'll be productive oh and I can't believe I'm saying this but my mum asked for a bucket so I'm going to give her one of my absolute unlimited supply Mr Tom's all-terrain bucket delivery service extravaganza I never thought I'd see the day there you go enjoy yeah why did you take my power cable remember to rate five buckets because we always replenish our stock I kind of just realized I forgot my wallet oh go on then I'll take one for me and one to replace the one I've just given away what is going on here why is it tied down? People must have been trying to run off with the buckets. Someone try and work out for me how much it would cost to buy every single bucket here. And I'll be impressed. But we're not actually here for buckets. We're here for replacing these. And look at these boxes they've got. <laughs> Nothing compared to a really useful box. Hear me out. This might be perfect as a log shed at my back door because it is waterproof and that would allow me to free up so much space in my garage if I just had that outside the patio doors near my fireplace. Mm. I'm going to take note of those measurements to check. This one's much bigger, but it's almost exactly advertised as a log shed. I'm just going to take note again, but for £166, bloody hell, expensive. Where are we going? Where are we going? We'll be around here somewhere. Oh, warmer, colder, close, closer, just right. Well, actually, they're the right length. I don't know if they're the right width, but I don't know if that matters. Okay, I'm an idiot. This is hella useful. You put it into the hole to check the size, and it is indeed four mil, and then you measure it, so we're at like, what, 70, 75? And then we know exactly what we need. Genius. We're looking for a four by 70. No way. Yes. <laughs> there it is. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Just in case I got the wrong one for the wrong material, I got these. Thank you. One extra power cord later. We out of there. I can't quite say it's home time because Lydia wants me to go to B&M. For once, it's not for boxes, but instead, Kinder Bueno chocolate because she's going to make some cookies. So all I've got to do now is get these to the till without buying any boxes. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Thank you. Oh, we did it. What? Unbelievable. It is what it is and there's a reason. But I'm going to have to show you when we get home. Now, that was me driving home, but I didn't quite make it to my house. Instead, I made it to Papa Ken's. He's not answering his phone, and I want to see him. Just sat down, doing nothing. Try to tell you I bloody love you. Gail, I'll be right back. Can't believe this is happening right now. But I'm being bullied by Dad and Gail because when I came here yesterday and did my drive-by bucket, apparently that's the name I'm calling it now, um, I only dropped off one, um, and uh, Gail didn't get one. My dad did, but Gail didn't, so guess what? 
Gail gets a bucket. So I think it's only fair I do the same delivery technique that I did to everyone else. What have I done? I've done nothing, right? Just open that. You got lights on the front here, Dad? No. Oh, this is a bit difficult. Oh, you, can, you can't really see it from here. What's that? I, do, I know. Wait. Right. Can, can, can you see it yet? Just, no. Is it just to the right a bit? Is, it, is, that, is that your car, the red car? The red one, yes. Yeah, do you, can you see it yet? No, come on, you're pushing. Your car, you're a push one. Gil, <laughs> just look at your car there. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Dad. <laughs> quick, take your cameras real quick. I don't believe it. Check, check I don't camera. believe it. See, it wasn't me. <laughs> Gail, quick. <laughs> Gail, quick, get inside. To be fair, this would have been the better window to open. I don't know why I didn't do this one. Oh my gosh, what are the chance? Why does everyone put it on their head? <laughs> Imagine if it had loads of stuff in it. Sit. It's the, it's the multi-purpose one pound bucket. It's an umbrella. Well, it turns out I'm not the only one with a tire face cold and flu. I've got it and dad's got it. I've told him I love him. I've told him to go. How rude. What? Well, I'm the one swearing. He didn't. I've, no, I've just no, I've done what I needed to do. He You've went, got a bucket. You went. I've locked him out. Yeah. You've got a bucket. I told you I love you, and I told you to go f yourself. That seems like a good visit, right, Dad? Whoa. Go. Whoa. Go. I'm going. Take your cold. Okay. Take your cold You've got one as well. Take your cold elsewhere. <laughs> Be gone. See you later, Ken. Bye bye, Papa. Bye bye now. And then there was one. I'm still yet to explain why I've got this. But I will do when we get home. Dun, 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 dun. I am best boyfriend ever. You are chocolate man. Thank you. Are you ready to find out if I'm an idiot sandwich? That's pretty big. I think it looks a bit big. <laughs> You're right there, bud. What's that face about? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Lydia wanted boxes to go in these cupboards to organise things. So I thought I'd try and see if this one fit. She sent me some dimensions. I've probably read them wrong. And the survey says... I'm a genius, genius, I'm a genius. Yeah, it fit. Wow, well done. The thing is, though, um, I don't think all these cupboards are the same size. Oh. So the middle two, yeah. it'll fit in. But I'm pretty sure this one here is smaller. So if I try and put this in now, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. doesn't fit. Fail. Fail. What if I turn it sideways? Oh, wait. I can't. Oh, for goodness sake. So close. Yeah, so far. Well, with this failure under my belt, I'm going to pack up my bucket, head down into the basement, and probably make a massive mistake. First things first, we measure the wall. Like a so. It is 198 for a weirdly sized wall. And half of that is 99. I totally knew that off the top of my head. Right, 99 puts us dum 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 dum. There-ish. Let's go in there-ish. I'm now going to ring my dad to make sure I can actually drill through it. Hi, Kevin. Sorry not to interject your call. Leave me the message. Well, we're definitely making mistakes. <laughs> I've devised a 200 IQ plan to go up into the loft section. Oh, false ceiling, it should be called. And we're going to check if anything's running down that wall other than the wires for the lights and the switch, which I don't think they should be. But we're going to check. Dun, 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 dun. Right. These are water pipes that are actually heading down into that corner. But I don't think they run down this side of the wall because they actually come out in here and they run down this wall from where they pop out rather than this wall. And I'm not drilling all the way through it, but I just wanted to play it safe. It's a good job I checked behind the sofa because there's also a socket down there and I'm pretty sure all the electricals come from the top down. This is the bait we're going to hang up and it's pretty heavy. So I'm not going to hang it on just one hook. I'm actually going to put two and hope for the best. And we're going to use B&Q's heavy duty ones and see if that's all we need. Oh, I got completely thrown off buying these thinking I'd need them, but they're for the YouTube plaques. These are the ones you use for this. This totally seems like it will secure that onto a wall. Uh. Right, so that's the middle. That's where I measured that. That's for 22 down, so when I hang it, it should be close to the, that should be the top of it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, put this bad boy in there, this one I've got electrocuted. 
probably. Okay, there's one in. There's the latch key bit. Nice and secured into the wall. That's going nowhere. It does say heavy duty, but on the back it says it will hold a max weight of 7 kg. That's probably 70 kg. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna move the sofa back up to the wall so if it does fall, hopefully it lands on this first. <laughs> In before I'm paying hundreds of pounds to get this reframed. My name's Tom Om and I am a, an idiot. Do we think this is gonna work? Or is it going to bend the hooks, which I believe it's going to do, and we're going to actually need really heavy duty stuff? Oh my gosh. I don't think I got one of them. Oh no, it's on both of them. Wait up. Ta-da! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my perfectly fitted frame. Yes! He did it. He actually did it. I just feel like it's going to fall down now. In all honesty, I feel like it's just going to fall down. If you open and close this door, does it like create a draft to lift it off? Mmm, not really. Mmm. And I'm gonna give you a zoom. I'm gonna give you a zoom in down the back. That's what we're working with. The hooks don't seem to be bending, so that's a great success. And all the actual painting wiring's holding on. I wanna say we're okay. And we didn't explode! Look at one sec, let me move that orange bucket, it's just thrown off the feng shui. Alright, take two. Would you look at that? I think that looks amazing. Honestly, top job. Minus the hole in the ceiling because I got, forgot to put the cover back on. Idiot. Oh, as I'm moving the chair, I've just had a text of the house renderer, Alex the Wizard. This is his Instagram. Listen, please, just do me a favor, go follow him. This guy is so good at what he does, right? Uh, you'll see loads of me behind the scenes of stuff of what me and him are working on. So if you want to go follow him, go follow him. He's just really good at what he does. Plus he actually works with a little load of YouTubers. So if you ever want to see what he's up to with them, like making podcast sets for like the fellas or like designing like side men members' houses and stuff like that, go and check it out, it's really good. But we're gonna bang this back in place. Wonder how so much paint possibly came off it. Like what on earth? It's like the least aesthetic looking thing I've ever seen in my life. And then we're gonna run upstairs and go and grab our laptop. Thanking you. Oh, I'm very excited. What has the wizard conjured up? Oh, I've got four new images. So this is the proposed new layout for that room in there. And if we go through them from the start, this is where we're proposing to put a new entranceway into my office. Rather than having a hallway like the last talked about, we'll have the hallway here instead. In effect, giving me a much bigger office, which would look like this. Pretty damn cool. And with what we've got planned with the washroom, people wouldn't need to get access to that door because we'd be moving all that upstairs. Meaning this could be used for something completely different. And before anyone says like, Tom, take out this wall and extend it through, we can't do because we've got underfloor heating pipes here. So this could maybe be storage or something you guys suggest. But look at my current setup compared to what Alex has suggested. It's absolutely night and day as to how epic that actually is. The guy's a wizard. If you haven't followed him, that's his Instagram there. Go and give him a follow because he's going to be posting behind the scenes of the stuff we're working on. But if we quickly go upstairs and go towards the garage, I can show you guys what we're proposing from a top-down layout as to what this could end up looking like. By simply adding in a stud wall, we can create an entire two separate rooms, which would go from looking like this to this. Look at that. The most Lydia setup you've ever seen. But this would eliminate the need for the washroom in the basement, give my office the privacy it needs, and give Lydia the laundry room she's always wanted. Thoughts and opinions? Oh yeah. Great success. Now it is worth pointing out that the layout of that actual room is not final because I'm sure there's a much better way of using the space here. But effectively, if we could get a washer and dryer in here along with the fridge and then some sort of way to sort of dry the clothes, whether it be a drying cabinet, a clothes maiden that hangs from the ceiling or something along those lines, this setup would be amazing. The question is, how possible actually is this? Because I'm pretty sure that's a low bearing wall. Would a stud wall work in here? With all the systems that are currently installed? And more importantly for this specific room, can we get the drainage and water pipes in for actually even putting laundry equipment in here? Not quite sure, but I'm excited to find out. I've not heard any loud bangs whilst I've been upstairs, so great success. The painting has not shattered into a billion pieces. I'm actually going to save installing this one till tomorrow. Because Lydia's kindly asked if I spend some time with her and not with the basement. And in all fairness, she's kind of got a point. I've just been absolutely obsessed with getting on top of this and I've put my mind to it and I've done it. And I am one very happy man. So I need to step away from it, turn off the lights and say goodnight.
Can't believe I wasn't expecting Santa Claus. Thank you very much. Ooh, we wa. What is this? That is nice, Nick. Flipping heck. It's a log basket that she bought me, but it was a little bit too small. You could only just fit a log in it. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not picking on it. I love it. It's cute. It's got character and it doubles up as a helmet. Why? It's great. Why would that be a kinky one? I don't know. But the big boy version of it is beautiful. That is so nice. Is Very classy. And it even comes with cardboard for Randy. Yeah. The crowd goes wild. Lydia, it's got to be said, that smells amazing. Oh my gosh, what are we having? Salmon and noodles? Yeah. <whistles> I'm currently sketching along with Sam Jones as a certain someone staring at me. <laughs> I can't believe I get... When I get moments like that on camera and he just smiles, it's like, what are you looking at? You big chunky monkey. Mm -hmm. But I'm just sketching um, some stuff up with Sam Jones for the whole like Life of Tom loft merch idea that I was like playing around with. And Sam's like done some more work on this and I just, I've absolutely fallen in love with it. To the point where I feel like that could be like the style and theme of like the Loft Life of Tom first ever merch. Like people have asked for it for ages and I've never known how I wanted to do it because I don't really care for it being like Syndicate original, like a proper clothing line. I want it to be like merch, but really good quality. And I think that's really cool. Well played, Sam Jones. Well played. Gas food has arrived. Oh, look at it. Lydia, you need a cooking book. Oh my gosh. What? It's the noodle. Actually, can we have an entire chapter dedicated to you? And I want your turkey soup in it. Turkey oh, mm. soup. Someone did suggest why don't I do an actual recipe book, right? I was going to say The Taste of Tom, but that sounds really absurdly <laughs> weird. But, like, you, we have one of your dishes in it, Lydia's dishes in it. I was going to say mine, but I can only make super noodles. No, you can Jordan's, Wes's, do you know what I mean? You can make steak. Give or take. I can, make, I can make instant noodles really well, I'll give you a good... But if we actually did a recipe book of all, like, a, con, a, a, a culmination? Oh. That's the right word. Oh. Decompartmentalised. A compilation of people's stuff, I think that'd be pretty good. I didn't want to overdo it. Tissue. Mm. I'm trying to eat my dinner in peace. Can you stop staring at me, son? Don't be sad about it. It's just you distracting me and I'm laughing. I'm distracted again, Lydia. Oh my gosh, Sam Jones is helping me, bra me brainstorm the whole um, loft merch and he's just sent me one. Here you go, he's come through. Look at that. Me and my dad on the camper van adventure of the whole, would you just look? at that view. It's just, it's just so good. People have asked for it for the longest time. And I've just never known, like, how do you do that? Like, I don't just want it to be just, just text on it. I want it to have a bit of character, like the personality from the vlogs, but Lydia's had an idea. I'm much more simplistic. Oh. So I, I think you could do just a, just a little design, yeah. plain t-shirt with a little design that just says Sadios, and then it's just, like a zoomed in stick man with two people yeah. there. <laughs> like that. And then like that. I think you should do like an instructions one. One that looks like instructions. Yeah. I like it's this. A stick man poking things and it would be like, subscribe and comment yeah. to the poking of. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength with this. This is good. Look. Honest feedback, like, please, if you are watching this, just give me feedback for this, because I know not everyone wants this. Like, Syndicate Original is my clothing line. Like, I want to see grow. I just want to get it into the car scene and stuff like that. I've got some contacts who work in, like, Formula Drift, and I'd love to, like, look into getting, getting it out there. I think that'd just be amazing. But, like, for the true OGs who watch these vlogs, who said they've always wanted, like, merch merch, I think this would be a lovely way to do it. So let me know if you'd like it. Dinner was delicious and I'm going sitting down. I'm at that point of the night where my legs are starting to feel like jelly. So you know what we do. Oh yeah. We pause the massage, we pause the TV and Alfie, it's decision time. Ready? It's time for you to open a jelly cat from one of the amazing views who sent you on. Oh, cold, cold, warm, warmer. Smiling hot, one right below him, because he was smiling. Oh, that one. Oh, what's gonna be inside it? His eyes actually probably went like, oh. Oh, what's gonna be inside this one, little dude? Are you ready to play the game? Got or not? I'm gonna go with not. Oh, what's inside the bag? Where are you going? Oh, we've not got it. Oh, what is it?
<laughs> Let me see it. I want to see the smiley face. Yeah, there's the jelly cat. Of course you would open a dessert, wouldn't you, you big chunky boy? And this is coming in from... Hi, Tom and Lydia. I've been a fan for a long time now. I've recently had twin girls. <gasps> no matter how hard life gets, keep pushing on. P.S. I was one that sent the marshmallow blanket from Jordan Stringer in Nottingham. Are we saying thank you, Jordan? Say thank Are we you, saying Jordan. thank you, Jordan? Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Jordan, thank you very much for that, man. That is absolutely amazing. And he's got himself, what's it called? An amusable jelly cat. I am num 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 num. <laughs> He opened his mouth at the end then. What did you say you just heard a second ago? A bang. <sighs> it's really, really windy outside. To the point where the whole house is making noises, but that bang was very loud. Are you ready for my reaction? <sighs> yes! I am so glad it's still there. I even heard that bang then and I thought it would come off the wall. Oh my gosh. I can't really say that the metal like hooks look like they're bending. They look absolutely A-OK -okay to me. And it's still on the wall. The question that stands now is, what was the actual bang? What just broke? Oh boy. Them winds are extremely strong tonight. I swear the UK's just had back to back to back storms. It's ridiculous. Stay strong, Christmas tree. Stay strong. Oh, chilly. Honorable showcase. Look at the color of Kevin in there. Oh, wow. Absolutely stunning. We're A okay. <laughs> it's 20 to midnight right now, and me and Alfie are just sat here looking at the computer. And I'm just in amazement as to how well the two hour cleaning video did. It did nearly 200,000 views <laughs> in 24 hours. Mate, that's a lot of people watching a video. I think it might be a lot of people returning back to watch the video, but if I went to YouTube and looked at my sub box and saw <laughs> A two hour video, I don't even think I would click on it. Would you? <laughs> so the fact that you guys have is insane. I do want to keep re-emphasizing that my vlogs on my channel are supposed to be like 10, 15 minutes long. Not whatever the hell this madness has been. One hour, 12 minutes, 32 minutes, 32 minutes, 39 minutes, 50 minutes, two hours, Yesterday's 56 minutes. I am so sorry to anyone who used to tune into the vlogs like, oh, I'll jump in and watch this real quick. That was a nice bit of content. See you later. And now I just left with mammoth movies nearly every single day. We are potato sandwiches and I'm just going to blame you. It's all your fault. I'm going to blame your adorable cuteness for the overfilling. How does that sound? But it goes without saying, I appreciate your guys' support so freaking much. Honestly, I am blessed to be able to film my life, share it with your faces, and people decide to take interest in it. And I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed with the fact that Alfie's just staring there. I, I, I can't believe he gets to watch back on so much of his life and all the shenan shenanigans that have occurred. Because even if I'm cleaning downstairs in the basement and he's just with me, he's there and he's kind of like partaking in it. And I just can't wait until like we can go and do things together. It's just going to be amazing, but he's only two months old. And I'm having the best time ever with him. So, guys, from me and Alfie, if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button on the channel. Ding dong the notification bell to get notified when we post our next vlog. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. on the dot. He's wriggling now because he knows that's not the truth. <laughs> he's like, 7 o'clock, no way. And we will see you guys for the next weekday vlog tomorrow. Okay. There and then at 7 p.m. So before this guy kicks off, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Love you. And as always, Asa di Hoss. I totally realized I just made him jump then. I'm so sorry. See you guys later. Bye-bye.